Hello year two, how are you? And welcome to today's maths lesson. Now in our maths lesson yesterday, we looked at pictograms where one picture represented either five or 10 items. And we had to look at the key to find out how many items one picture represented. Now today we are going to be looking at interpreting these pictograms, so answering questions about them, just like we did for pictograms where one picture represented one item and the pictograms where one picture represented two items. Now before we start interpreting our pictograms, I would like us to warm up our brains with our flashback. So here's your flashback for today. You have three questions. In the first question, how many children go to netball club? So have a look at the key for the pictogram and find out how many children are represented by one circle. And then have a look at netball in our pictogram to work out the total number of children that go to netball club. Then number two, you need to draw tally marks to represent eight. Then number three, what is 13 plus eight? So I would recommend doing column addition and you need to work out if you need to exchange or not. So pause the video now and have a go at your flashback. OK, yeah, two, so let's go through the answers together. Well, number one, how many children go to netball club? Well, if we have a look at the key, we can see that one blue circle represents one child. Now, how many circles are there next to netball? Yes, there are six circles next to netball. So if one circle represents one child, how many children are going to be represented by six circles? Well, one is one child, two is two children, three is three children so that means six will be six children fantastic okay so six children go to netball club okay number two draw tally marks to represent eight now let me start by drawing a couple of tally marks so there's one there's another one and another one now what number have i represented here well i've got three tally marks so i've only represented three so far so let's keep going because i've got to get to eight so another one will be four, won't it? Oh, yeah, two, remind me, what do I do for my fifth tally mark? Yes, that's right. I need to do a diagonal line through the last four tally marks. So there's my diagonal line. Now that's five, but I still need to get to eight. So I need to add some more. So let me add another one, which will get me to six. Another one, which will get me to seven. Now I need to get to eight. How many more tally marks do I need if I've got seven? Yes, I need one more. So there we go. There's my one more tally mark and I then have represented eight because I've got five and then three on their own and five plus three equals eight. OK, the last one. What is 13 plus eight? Well, here is my column addition and let's start with the one. So we have three plus eight or if it's easier, eight plus three. What's eight plus three? Ah, oh, yes, it's 11, isn't it? Now, will we need to exchange here too? Yes, we will because we need to exchange if there is 10 or more in the ones column. So therefore, I put my one there and then I need to exchange my 10. Can you see it at the bottom? OK, now let's add our tens. So we have one 10 already there and then we have the 10 that we've just exchanged. So one plus one equals, yes, two. So 13 plus eight equals 21. OK, brilliant. Well done if you got those right. Now let's move on to today's learning. So here we have a pictogram which shows how many goals each player scored. Now remember when I said that to work out your pictogram, so interpret your pictogram, it is a good idea to work out how many goals each person scored first, to work out the total for each first okay so we've got our question here who scored the most goals but we're not going to answer that until we've worked out how many goals each person scored so we know by the key that one football represents five goals so Alex has two footballs next to his name so if one football represents five goals two football five plus five or two multiplied by five equals ten OK, fantastic. So Alex has scored 10 goals. Well, what about Jack? He has four footballs by his name. Now let's count up in steps of five, four times. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20. Ah, I've counted four steps of five and I got to 20. So Jack has scored 20 goals. 
OK, what about Mo? Well, Mo has the same number of footballs next to his name as Alex did. So therefore, if Alex scored 10 goals, Mo also scored 10 goals. OK, I'd like you to pause the video now and have a go at working out how many goals Rosie scored and how many goals Whitney scored. OK, yeah, too. So let's go through it together. Well, Rosie has three footballs next to her name. So let's count up in steps of five three times. Are you ready? Five, ten, fifteen. Stop, we've counted three steps of five. And what did we get to? Yes, we got to fifteen. So therefore, Rosie scored fifteen goals. OK, what about Whitney? Well, Whitney has one football next to her name. And we know that one football represents five goals. So therefore, Whitney scored five goals. Now, let's go back to our question now that we've worked out how many goals each person scored. So it says who scored the most goals? So if we're looking at the most of something, we're going to need the largest number, the greatest number, aren't we? Now, who scored the greatest number of goals? Well, Alex scored 10 goals. Jack scored 20. Mo scored 10. Rosie scored 15 and Whitney scored five. What's the largest number there? Hmm. Oh, it's 20, isn't it? 20 is the largest number. And who scored 20 goals? Well, it's Jack. So Jack scored the most goals. Now I've got a question for you, Yeti. Who scored the least goals? If we found the largest number for the most goals, what are we going to need to find for the least goals? Pause the video now and have an OK year two. So as I said, for the most goals, we looked for the largest number. But for the least goals, we need to look for the smallest number. So it's not going to be Jack because he scored the most goals. Well, Alex scored 10 goals and Mo scored 10 goals. And then Rosie scored 15 goals and he scored five goals. What's the smallest number there? Ah, uh, yes, it's five, isn't it? And who scored five goals? Well, it was Whitney. So therefore, Whitney scored the least goals. Fantastic. Well done if you got that right. Now, I think we have another question for this pictogram. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. So it is asking us, how many goals did Mo and Alex score all together? Well, we've already worked out how many goals each person scored. So we just need to answer the question now. Now, it's asking us all together. Now, when it asks us all together, it's asking us the total because we're finding the whole. So therefore, we need to do addition and we need to add the number of goals that Mo scored to the number of goals that Alex scored. So how many goals did Mo score? Well, Mo scored 10 goals. We can see that because we've already worked it out. So 10 goals for Mo. And how many goals did Alex score? Hmm. Oh, yes, Alex is at the top of my pictogram and he scored 10 goals as well. So we need to add 10, Alex's 10 goals to Mo's 10 goals. So we need to do 10 plus 10, which equals, ah uh, yes, 20, because two steps of 10, one step of 10 is 10, and two steps of 10 is 20. Okay, I have a question for you now, Yeti. How many goals did Jack and Whitney score all together? So remember, all together means we are finding the total. Pause the video now and have a go. OK, year two, so let's go through it together. Well, how many goals did Jack and Whitney score all together? So we're finding the total, as I said. And when we find the total, when we find the whole, we have to do addition, don't we? So we're going to add together the number of goals that Jack scored and the number of goals that Whitney scored. Well, how many goals did Jack score? Yes, Jack scored 20 goals. He scored the most goals, didn't he? And how many goals did Whitney score? Uh, Whitney scored five goals. She scored the least goals, didn't she? So we have Jack with 20 goals and Whitney with five goals. So we're going to have to do 20 plus five because we're adding the number of goals that Jack scored, which is 20, to the number of goals that Whitney scored, which is five. Now, if we were counting in fives, what would be the next number after 20? Yes, it'd be 25, wouldn't it? So therefore, for Jack and Whitney scored 25 goals altogether. Fantastic. Well done if you got that right. Now we've got a new pictogram now. Oh, and this pictogram shows us how many chickens were seen on each day. Now let's do what we did last time and work out how many chickens were seen on each day first before we start answering questions. So on our key, it tells us that one picture 
represents 10 chickens. So let's have a look at Monday. How many pictures of chickens are there? Yes, there are two pictures of chickens. So therefore, if one chicken represents 10 chickens, how many chickens are represented by two chickens? Well, we need to count in steps of 10 twice. So we've got 10, 20. Ah, so 20. Two multiplied by 10 equals 20 or 10 plus 10 equals 20. OK, well, on Tuesday, we only have one chicken and we know that one picture of a chicken equals 10 chickens. We can see that on our key. OK, what about Wednesday? Well, there are three pictures of chickens, so we need to do three multiplied by 10. So will you count with me in steps of 10? Three times. Are you ready? 10, 20, 30. Stop. We've counted three steps of 10. And what did we get to? Yes, we got to 30. So therefore, on Wednesday, 30 chickens were seen. OK, let's have a look at Thursday. Well, Thursday has the same number of chickens as Monday. So we know that if Monday 20 chickens were seen, on Thursday 20 chickens will have been seen as well. So could you pause the video now and have a go at finding out how many chickens were seen on Friday? OK, year two. So on Friday there are five pictures of chickens and we know that each chicken represents 10 chickens. So we need to do five multiplied by 10. Will you count with me in steps of 10? five times, OK, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Stop. We've counted five steps of 10. And what did we get to? Yes, we got to 50. So there we go. We have found out how many chickens were seen on each day. So now let's have a look at our question. OK, so how many more chickens were seen on Wednesday than Tuesday? Well, I have got the part of the pictogram that has Tuesday and Wednesday on it so we don't get distracted by any of the other information. Now, the first girl, remember, in the video last week told us that to do to find the difference, because we're finding the difference between the number of chickens found on Wednesday and the number of chickens found on Tuesday, and we are finding the difference between them. OK, so we need to do subtraction according to this girl do you remember so how many chickens do we need to start with well we need to start when we do subtraction with the largest number now what is the largest number yes 30 is the largest number so 30 chickens were seen on wednesday and we need to subtract the number of chickens that were seen on tuesday which is yes 10 so 10 chickens were seen on tuesday now we need to subtract 10 from 30 so we need to do 30 subtract 10. Now what's 30 subtract 10? Remember, when we subtracted 10, only the 10 digits change. So we're going to go backwards from 30 to 20. So 30 subtract 10 equals 20. And so there is a difference of 20 between the number of chickens seen on Wednesday and the number of chickens seen on Tuesday. OK, now the second girl had a different way of working this out, didn't she? She thought that if you put, you can use the pictogram to compare. So if you put a line next to the, um, the day with the least amount of chickens. So on Monday, one chicken was seen. Sorry, no, 10 chickens were seen because there's one picture of a chicken. So therefore you draw a line after the last chicken on that day. And then to find the difference, you count how many chickens there are on the other side of the line. So how many chickens are on the other side? Well, there are two chickens. And if one chicken represents 10 chickens, then two chickens represents 20 chickens. And yes, we found the same answer when we found the difference using a subtraction. So 20 more chickens were seen on Wednesday than Tuesday.